Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is time to show you all of the merch that I picked up on the Europe slash UK tour from Baby Metal, which happened in February this year. I went to three shows in the UK, Cardiff, Manchester and London. Uh, I went to those shows with Lily and lots of other people like Tash and Logan and so many others that I'll mention in a minute. Each one was so amazing and just there was so many different experiences and just met just so many different people at each show which I've never ever, this is the first time ever, I've followed a band around the country. I know I've seen them in other countries but this is the first time I've followed a band where they've been playing different dates around my home country. Amazing. So I want to show you all of the merch that I picked up and also some merch that, and fan gifts that people were giving me and this time I gave out fan gifts. Cool. I, if you watch my Cardiff vlog, I showed the I made some BMC stickers. That I love them, and everybody loved them. I'm gonna start off with the t-shirts. So I wanted to show you this one because I wanted to compare it. I got, I think this is called the Metal Odyssey tee. Uh, oh God, I cannot remember the names of the t-shirts. This one with the fox, and I got. Actually, this is, I didn't actually mean to buy this one. I got this in a large for somebody and I was going to send it to them. But the guy, until I got home, I didn't realise that the guy who sold it to me at the venue gave me the wrong size. So this is a small and actually I might as well just keep it. I don't think I'll sell it on because, well, it fits. Because I have the one I got in America and the colours are completely different. I mean, I think it's just one colour change. I just wanted to show you in comparison. So the, this is the US one, this is the UK one. This, the, the, this, the white in this is really like bright and this one is kind of like creamy brown. I don't know which one I find nicer. I, don't, I think, I don't know, the cream works nicer on the fox. I don't know, but then the white, honestly, they look like two completely different t-shirts because of that one color change. So I'm actually gonna keep both of these. And the back obviously has all of the tour dates there. And then I got, I wasn't going to get this because I'm, I don't really wear long sleeve t-shirts. But I got it anyway. This is the Galaxy 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 long sleeve top. Cool. And it's got designs down the sleeves. And the back has the big B on it, which is kind of resembles like the t-shirt they had, or the long sleeve t-shirt they had in the World Tour in Japan shows where Bring Me The Horizon was supporting them. And that, that was like a purpley long sleeve. I got that one. And I also got the other t-shirt, this one. This is the exact same one as the one in Brixton. And I did compare the t-shirts. I mean, they're both gilded down. The, the colors have not changed, they're exactly the same. But I got this one just because I wanted the tour dates on the back. And I really do like that t-shirt. So there's the tour dates, that's cool. So that was the t-shirts and tops. Then I got, I wasn't gonna get this, but it was so cold in this tour. I just, I needed it, I needed it. And because I was really gonna be queuing for a long time at Manchester and London, I just needed this hat. This is their kind of Russian trucker hat. I don't really know what you call it, but it's, it's so warm. I wore it like constantly. It's got fleece inside and it's got a nice, embroidery logo of paper metal there so it's not just some like patch stuck on and I have, I have my this is the one that Lily made for um, the forum in LA and I just stuck the badge there in Cardiff I was general admission and then in Manchester and London I was chosen one VIP so which meant I got two VIP gifts so the bag is this which is so cheap flimsy it's the quality isn't the best, but it's waterproof. The one I got at Brixton is so much nicer. But anyway, inside the bag were a patch, a lanyard with the VIP pass, which you did not need. This Honestly, this is such a waste. And the lanyard is plain, again, needs to have their logo on it. You know how I feel about their VIP merch. And then also, which I do think this is really cool, is a sweatband. So because I got two, that means I can put one on each wrist. Yes. So that was all of the merch I got from this tour. So all the rest are all fan gifts and things that people were just giving out and it was just 
so lovely and it always happens at these shows it's just i love this community so much this is a special mention because mike the jake on twitter hand make or hand prints these towels baby metal papaya which we waved during the song papaya i got this in la at the forum and i brought it with me but he was handing out so many more i think it was over 200 towels he was printing whoa so along with the towels i actually um brought this one with me and then he gave one to tom as well so we have two towels in the house he was also giving out stickers and magnets and each magnet has uh, the different location on it so this one's Cardiff, this one's Manchester I don't know where my London one is I think I put it somewhere so that's awesome he was giving out so much stuff this towel is the best it was so cool because they're so bright which means the girls can see everybody waving it and he gave out so many and I look like behind me you can see so many yellow towels being waved it's so cool I got my I think this is this is my first flag Look how cute this is! It says, it, oh, I love the design on that so much. It's the um, Eventum Apollo London. And it's got Sue and Moa with the fox masses behind it on a stick. And this was um, designed, and Prue gave this to me. She's so sweet. Oh, it was so fun hanging out with her and Finn in the queue in London. I love this so much. Oh, I love this. This is going to go in like a pot on my desk. So pretty, so pretty. So I have a special bag of goodies from Bama, which was brought over by his friend Robbie. And I think Robbie actually basically bought all of this and Bama just kind of organized it. So I don't really know who did what, but um, he gave me a bag with the awesome like Metal Galaxy logo on it. And it says Cami Metal on it and it says from Bama. I actually met Bama in LA and he's so, he's so awesome. It was so good. To finally meet him and he yeah, sent this and i because he asked me like what stuff do i want because um, robbie's going over now i was like sweets or candy so he did not disappoint he got me some sour patch kids which have all gone because i'm obsessed with them they were like the tropical flavor ones i'm half drooling also some of these which i have opened already and eaten some lifesavers gummy sours they're so delicious he also did a bag for lily as well and some Jelly beans, some chocolate pecan candy, Butterfinger, which I find the the, the like the texture inside is really odd in my opinion, but they are really nice. And a white Kit Kat. So this is cool. Thank you so much for doing this. This bag will come in handy like to take around future shows and just put like goodies in of all like the things people give out. So. Thank you, and thank you, Robbie, for giving them out and sorting all the candy out. Thanks. So the next few gifts are from my lovely friend Lily, and she has her own kind of merch. I call it Lily merch. She has little Kitsune crafts on Etsy, and I'm her number one fan, by the way. So she bought, she does like pixel designs, if you didn't know already. So this one here, this one is Moa with Sue on the back, because it's two-sided keychain which is awesome and she also made badges for each show so I got Cardiff Manchester and London obviously and this one is Manchester these are so so cool I stuck these on my coat during the tour the Cardiff and London ones are already stuck to my coat which I have on all the time but I didn't want to take them off so I'll just show you the Manchester one so thank you Lily for giving those out also got this kind of wooden design which it would this was from a Japanese fan, I think, if I remember correctly. And it's got, I chose Moa on this one, so that's really cute. This is really pretty, and it's got like the Union Jack on it as well. Yeah, I got given this one at Cardiff. Next two are really quite unique. They're like laminated fo Instagram photos of Sue and Moa. So it's kind of like the, the picture in, of like the Baby Metal Instagram account, kind of screenshot, and then they've laminated them. And they let me have both of them as well, so I didn't have to choose. So pretty. Next are three prints, which I I love prints so much. Don't really get a lot of prints. We get a lot of stickers as fan gifts, but these these are so cool. So the first one I have is um, Moa, and with like some cherry blossoms behind her. She's really pretty. This one is an Omagini theme. I've got to show you. I've got to show you the place for this. This is so, so cool. You can just see all of the different 
parts of this photo. There's there's like all the girls at the background, the suit at the front, there's foxes. Oh, it's so funny. Imagine I is such a good song. Now this print is so stunning and it is what I need to put it in a frame. It is so, so beautiful. Look at that. So nice. Look. So, so cool, so pretty. This, it's, got, it's got to go my wall, it's so nice. So a guy called Tom, who goes by the name of Tesseract on Twitter, gave me these stickers and prints. So there's a little story, I'll just give you the quick rundown. So he, these prints here, they look very Disney. That's because they were drawn and designed by someone who used to work at Disney, work for Disney and has now left. So uh, this, he has drawn these. This is so, so cool. There's, oh my God, they're so cool. Oh, there's these three that I need to show you. This is what Sue and Mo would look like if they were Disney princesses. Just look at these. Aren't they stunning? I just love them. This was so, so special to receive these. There's also this one as well, which is done by another artist. The Disney art was done by, on Instagram, Monstergram7. So if you want to check out their art, super, super cool. And this one, the art was done by Tape Art on Twitter. So cool. So I got so many of these. They just all like came in a nice envelope. So thank you, Tom, for giving me these. It's so one of the best. Disney Baby Metal, what can be better than that? So that is it for all the merch I received and bought. I didn't buy all of the merch because they did sell the towel and for this, yeah, the flag. I've already got the flag and I have a towel, a similar one anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't buy everything. I didn't buy the keyring because I got one similar. So a lot of the merch has kind of been recycled and put, like changed the colour slightly. So I didn't actually get that much because I already have some of it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.